All right, let's make a little video here. Uh, Cole, thanks for sharing this uh, uh, file with me, particularly the screenshots because I can see them. Um, you're right, I could open the InDesign file, but because you have a different typeface than I do, I'm not going to be able to see uh, the, the file the way you planned it to be. So you could easily send me a PDF in the future or, or a bunch of screenshots like this. So um, let's take a look at this. Well, let me see. Uh, did you ask me a specific question? Uh, you better get with it if you do. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so let's talk about section titles. And... Uh, da -da. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I, where's, I'm the right spot. Okay, fine. Um, make sure that the letting is tight here. It looks, it does look tighter than uh, default, so that's good. Um, does this work? Yes, we go here, here. Um, there's very little difference from these, but that's okay. It goes... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so your your eye flow is very good. You read right through it, no problem. Okay, here. Um, I like the differentiation. I'm glad you're you're treating oral session A separate from biology. Um, in the end, I have a, a thought for you that would be interesting, but you know, something for you to consider. Um, but definitely something right here. Get rid of previous attachment. Um, why does that text keep showing up? Okay, we want to talk about uh, room. Okay, room and morning session. <laughs> okay, um, it's very weird to <laughs> work with these screenshots. These previous attachment things. Um, so, just memorize this thought: same, same equals boring, boring. You put room and morning session in the same typeface, in the same color, in the same weight. There's no differentiation between them at all. Same, same, boring, boring. So what they end up doing is fighting with each other, saying, look at me, no, look at me, look at me. And, and you're just like, ah, whatever, and you move on. And you jump over here and you start reading this because these two are fighting each other. I, I don't know why, but <laughs> you know, the attention span of a goldfish is what all humans have now. So. We just, we move on. Okay, so um, same issue here. Great, now notice this. I'm, I'm very impressed that, that even that slight differentiation of italics helped. So that could be your solution on this. You could take the lower ones and just put them in italic, or you could drop them in size. They don't have to be that big. So there's two ideas for you. This one is really obnoxiously long, and that's not your fault. <laughs> you, you didn't write this, you know. Somebody else did, so you just got to deal with it. Um, but, yeah, I almost want to put this all in italic, and then this part all in light gray. <laughs> so it's even less important than everything else, but, you know, that's me. It's not a requirement. Um, da, da, da. This looks nice and tight enough. You know, it looks like you got the letting right there. Maybe it's because it has more A centers and B centers that kind of fill in the space for us. Okay, obviously um, I'm I want to fix those green bars uh, officially called rules. I'd like to fix those. I would like the bottom part of the bar. I wish I could point to it, but I can't. Okay, if I screw in and put it now. Okay, the bottom of part of the bar to line up with the baseline of Saginaw Valley State University and the top part of the bar to line up with the X height of Saginaw Valley State University. Yeah, that's where I'd put those things. Um, so you got really good basics and the basics are covered and you, you focused mainly on type. I'm really glad about that. So I'm just gonna, uh, because I have files up because you're not the only student that has asked questions and that the best way is just to make videos so it takes me a long time. So here I go. Um, I'm going to show you some other examples when it comes to artwork, which is something you haven't asked about, but I want you to consider. A, um, your type is kind of set up along this line. Now, this, y they're using more extreme hierarchy than you did. And uh, notice how some things are lighter. Interesting. 
Um, but notice the the background artwork. That's why I'm coming here. Is not competing with the type. Type is all black. We read type first. Then we go here, go go here. Then we go on to the next one. Blah blah blah. Well, they got this you know strange convention where the section titles start on the right. Yeah, it's possible. Um, the color helps me know that it's a change. And okay, I get it as I go along. Okay. The other approach, if you're going to do artwork, is um, that I have you at least consider. Oh, I guess I'm at the end of the doc. Oh, not this one. Uh, this one uh, is to use the artwork to steer the eye. <clears throat> so your document right now with type steers the eye. Good job. What we don't want is to add the artwork and then have the artwork compete with the type. So how does this solve those conventions? A, you see the artwork first in this layout. Then, but the artwork is pointing you somewhere. It's saying, oh, look up here, look up here. And you read this, and then it says, oh, come over here because of this bar. And then you go here and down, down, down. And then you flow, and then the subtle line right there brings you back. It's a very nice loop. So you have this continual feed where the eye goes. Um, you don't have to do it that way, but what I'm saying is, uh, warning, watch out. When you add artwork, you don't want it to compete with your type. You've got a nice hierarchy in your type. you got good flow in your type. So you may want to take an approach, what was it, this one, where the type is light, or the, excuse me, the artwork is light and not competing. Okay, I hope you find that helpful. Um, snow days are strange, so hang in there. <laughs> uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.